I'm going to quickly cover the transcription player from ForTheRecord.com. In order to get this player, you need to go to www.ForTheRecord.com. You'll scroll down to the bottom. And here under Downloads, it has FTR Player 5.7. That is what you're going to click on to download. It is a free player. Here's what the player looks like. So it's called the record player, FTR, for the record, any of those names. This is what it, again, what it looks like. If Let's just do a quick walkthrough from the top to bottom. First, it's giving me a date and a clock Time. Okay, so number one thing here is it's not going to start at zero. So your time stamps aren't going to really work well for this. And it's going to give the date either from the time that you downloaded the audio file and the time, the date and time of the download. Or if you're getting this from a transcriptionist that's uh, something like a TRM file, it likely will be the date and time that the recording began of the court proceeding. Falling off to the right here, this first tab is to open the properties to minimize or compact the view. Then you have your display health to minimize this, in other words, to push it towards your bottom bar and then access to X out of it to close this program. We'll go over these in a little bit more detail in just a second. Again, this is the start time, so it's a clock time, not a running time starting at zero. And then it's going to be your end time. Here is the activity bar, so if I click on this button and hold down, I can move and as you'll see, the time at the top will change. So I can scoot on over to towards the end, towards the beginning or what have you. And then at the, this untitled 18, that's the title of this audio file. So whatever your audio file title is, that will display right here. And this here, the 842, that's the length of the audio file. So it runs eight minutes, 42 seconds. This here is a volume, your master volume. And you can slide that up and down. Again, you would just click on it and then move it. And then there's two channels here. Now with the record player, it has up to eight channels. What's nice about that is when you have a recording that has several channels, you can Lower the volume on one or mute it. You would mute it by clicking on the green, make it red, that's muted. And what's nice again about that is if you can hear someone very faintly on one channel, you can uh, lower the volume on the other channel and up the volume on that one channel so you could hear someone better, maybe possibly speaking over one another. And then here is your playback speed. So when you're in the center here, that means it's normal speed. And then by sliding the bar up, you're speeding up the speed of the audio file and then slowing it down. And why you might need that is if someone is talking very slowly, you might want to up the speed a bit so that it's easier to type. And then if you have someone who's speaking very fast, you could slow the speed down a little bit. That also helps if you're looking for a spot within the transcript, you could just speed it up a little bit or slow it down a little bit while you're playing to find that spot. Now at the bottom here is open and that's to open a file. And this is how you can go look for a certain file you want to load. You can also drag and drop a file into the player. And here in this box, you can have a certain uh, search folders already set up. So you can add a folder from your network or from an FTP site. And then it would go right into that FTP site to 
to open a folder. Uh, I'm going to close it out for now. You can follow along with that at your leisure. Otherwise, if you don't have something already set up, just click Other, and then it will take you into your files and folders that are on your computer. Okay, next is saving a copy too. So you could take this audio file and save a copy of it to your computer. And then you, of course, have the rewind, play, and fast forward. Now let's go back up to the top here. And you can open the record player properties. And it has the option of silver or gold. And it's basically just the same thing, only it looks a little bit differently. I'm going to go back to that in a second. First, I'm just going to go over, over everything else. You can have the playback in mono or stereo. And then your jump intervals means that when you hit fast forward or rewind, it'll jump 10 seconds at a time. And again, you can change that to whatever you'd like. Uh, the viewing options always on top means that no matter what you bring up on your screen, the record player will always sit on the top of it. You don't have to have that either. And accessibility, the enabling accessibility, um, I'm not going to cover that because I'm not 100% sure exactly what all that entails. I never have used it, so we're just going to skip that. You could do more research on your own if you're interested. The next tab is shortcuts, and these are just all the different shortcuts to different actions that you can set up. So, for instance, uh, the channel one action, and you could have it do different things, jump back, jump forward. And these are keyboard shortcuts. So if you're not using a foot pedal for fast forward, rewind, and play, then you might want to set up these different shortcuts there. The last tab is the foot control. And by backspace interval, that means that when you release this play button, it will scoot back a couple seconds. And I have it like that because it really helps me if I'm going to stop and listen to a spot that it falls back two seconds. You can set up your foot pedal to be either fast forward, play and rewind, or rewind, play, fast forward, or the rewind, fast forward, and then play over to the right. You can set it up whichever way works best for you. The next button is Compact View, and that just makes it skinny like this. And then you can hit the second to the last button, and it'll uh, make it normal. The question mark is a display help, and it'll run through all kinds of extra information that you might be looking for. And then here's your Minimize. And then your, your X out or close out the record player. One thing I really want to note with this is that once you close this out, the file drops out of it. And so you will have to reload the audio file all over again once you've X out of this. So just be aware of that. If you X out of it, take note of at what point within the audio file you left off at so that when you reload it, you know which spot you had left off at. Okay, so again, clicking on this and going into the general, under skins, you're offered either the silver or the FTR gold skin. They are the same program. It just has a different look. Um, as you can see, the controls are up here instead of at the bottom, but you still have your volume master control, your channel control, and then your speed control. So going back into the silver, this is the one that I prefer. I'm just going to cover a couple more things to point out um, to review again, and that is that the time on here is clock time. It does not start at zero and do play time. So you're not going to be able to do time stamp with this. Again, it does not play video files. The only files that I've found that it will play at this point are MP3, TRM, WAV, WMA, and ABI. 
Again, it'll play up to eight channels. However, if the audio is only recorded two channels, that's all you're going to see here. And also, when you click out of this program or close the program, the audio file will then be no longer in the program. So when you reopen it, you will have to reload it. And when doing so, it will start back where it was at the beginning. So make sure that when you close out of the program, you take note of how far into the audio file you were so that you can easily go right back and start where you left off. That's a quick overview of the FTR uh, for the record transcription player. If you have any questions, you can certainly leave those below in the comments. Also, don't forget this question mark here where you can click on that and it gives you loads of extra information about the player itself. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you next time.